today we're gonna only talk about the results, how we can extract or how we can work with the results. So, uh, just before going to the results, just for a, a very quick hint, uh, how like multi very good thing if you uh, figure out how you can also simulate such a continuous uh, process. It's very easy. I would say if you be able to simulate one of these, then you can do the continuous one. How? It's just related to the assembly. So I was talking about how you can simulate this before going to the result, just for a quick hint. Uh, the last time, or into the drawing uh, session which we did talk, we, uh, we designed this asymmetric section of our wire and uh, later we designed the our uh, the, 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 the shape of our die so uh, the point is from the beginning till the end of the process for example you want to decrease the diameter of our of the wire for, for example, 60%, and you want to go into the uh, four stages, like 15% per, uh, so you need four dies to, uh, to reduce the diameter for 60%. And uh, so we just uh, extend from here to here, it's important. It's the same die, and we, we are just assuming it's the same angle of the die. Since the die are similar to each other, just a reduction is just So, this is just a more easy calculation. You have to calculate what you need to do from here to here for each die. And this will design four die with different uh, reductions. And in assembly, you don't need to put it in, the, in order. And then in the step, you have to uh, you have to take care about the time of your process, but also in, for one process maybe it takes ten seconds, but for a continuous maybe it takes one minute or even more. So this is what, uh, like I said, always comes from the real experience. The uh, basis on the parameter you have and also the distance in a real parameter in a real experiment that you have you will just assume it as what it is in an experiment and then uh, design it here and also in the uh, load you have to uh, uh, apply the same boundary condition for the old dies but for the village uh, the 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 simulation and the, the simulation is over and then now under the day you just want to upload your results so you can see there are two sections here one is model the other one is results as you can see here the model like I said is related to the designing the process the result is the result of that process so um, when we go to the result of the process by choosing this section and this is, you can see, output database. So, double clicking or right or right clicking on it, you can see open or double clicking. You can just find out where is the ODB state. So, I'm going to open this ODB. And it takes a bit time because uh, okay, <laughs> this is a continuous. Process. 
I have a friend who also had a laptop with my dad like me and while it was loading, he was always saying, come on, come on, and I was thinking that it's really the phone. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so this is the, this is the process by, by uploading the, uh, by loading the uh, results, you can see can see the process again, but it didn't go. So uh, these are the modules that you can uh, work with the results, as you can see. And uh, this is the plot contours for the format shape, which means this is the result after the process. So if I click here, you can see the whole slide. And this is a very animated. Uh, based on the time that you define that if you click here, you can see the process is you can zoom it and see how this works. So it takes like uh, 75 seconds, so we don't have that much. Yeah, exactly. If I click in here, but it's less than always. But how can how can we do it like I have a better idea, like clicking here, this corner, and then you can play. But I'm going to zoom it out. Or, I have to say, I'm going to put a view on this, on one of these elements. So, uh, in the first uh, lecture, we did talk about the mesh. So, we did divide this into the different, uh, into the uh, structural equal meshes. And we want to give a view, and which, when this is drawing, also our view moves with the drawing. By clicking set a view camera, for example, on one of these nodes, and then if I move, you can see the view also moves. This is the overall results that we grab from this. So what you have is just one of these, like this. And uh, let me first talk about the different results that we can have here. Here are the results which is a uh, Generally, or by assumption, Abacus always, if you don't choose any results, Abacus always uh, will calculate the general results like S to S, which you can see by S, the peak or P to U or uh, equivalent plastic strain. If I click, look here, and then you can see this is the contour based on this of the equivalent classic string. But how can we, first, before going to the result, how can we uh, choose what result we, have, we want? You see, so this is also related to our process. We have to define here what result we want. So let's go back to the process. So, in the step, and in the uh, build output, we always have to define what we want. What we want here is also affect the time of the folding of the process. So if I click here and then click this this output of the script that's defined. So you can see here different kind of stresses, displays placement, force, contact, energy, failure, thermal, electrical, and stress. Well, let's talk about the stress in case everybody knows. So everybody, I think everyone knows what is the modulus stress equivalent 
advisors uh, and also uh, because this is uh, asymmetric, so we don't have this one one two two and three otherwise we could have it here and in S train also uh, plus the strain component equivalent if you choose the PE uh, there would be PE11, PE22 in this case, because it's uh, two dimensional. But if it be 3D simulation, there would be also PE112 and 112 and 3D, and also the shear one, like 1, 2, 1, 3, and 3. So, uh, lucky, as you can see, I already choose PE equivalent plastic screen. So you don't see any result of PE into the result. So it's really up to you what you what you are looking for and what you are looking here. So this is really important. So where was it? Once again, I think it was in the last two. Manager, and then everything goes wrong. And then here you have to choose what kind of result you want. Fourth order. And uh, closing this, going back to the result again. So you can see here. So what you can see here, I just choose to on the while I was uh, uh, running this, but I didn't choose that one like in the process. So this this this. Uh, uh, run is for a long time ago, so I don't remember what we have to do. Anyway, uh, the results over there are here. So, and also, this is S first, so you can see here, minus, and S1, 1, 2, 2, so, and normally we shouldn't have 3, 3, and, but, uh, in, it's not, uh, it's not useful, 1, 1, and 2, 2, which is in two directions. Uh, one thing which I remembered right now, which would be really uh, interesting, uh, can I go through it? So you can see, as you can see uh, here, uh, the file would be better. How can we extend this to the 3D model? Because sometimes it would be better if we demonstrate it as a so, as you can see, we did simulate a section of this wire. So this is the wire, but we did simulate the section of this wire and also a section of our rigid uh, guy. So how can we make such a thing from a 2D? Like I said, uh, we did the asymmetric because of the having uh, the decreasing the time of the solving, but actually sometimes it would be better if we demonstrate as a 3D. So here, uh, for converting this to the 3D uh, uh, geometry or 3D uh, viewing, by coming to the view and choosing the ODB display option and going to the sweep uh, extrude, so you can see we can sweep this along the axis. So I would do it for not for 180, for 270 because we want to see a section inside and also. Same for the die. So this is this is for the rigid part, and this is for the most uh, deformable part. So it's 150, and then the number of the treatment because I think we have the quality. And then applying this, you can see. Convert the uh, 3D. And then you can see the kind of hole here, which is going to be like this, and 
going deep and deep because of the drawing, because the pressure or the force is here and the flow of material is to this direction. That's why this happens. And also in the reality, you can also see. And uh, so this is the uh, this is this would be a very graphical, very good graphical picture of what we did uh, for publishing it or for having it in the paper or whatever you want to do. And uh, so what's talking about the results here? So we have stress. And different uh, selection of string components. And uh, how can we extract this result? So, this is something uh, we can also do. So, I'm going to, for the having to extract, uh, for working with the data easy or this is the previous view and uh, I just need to report. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is a section. The rest of the section is also like this. That's why we just need this section. So, uh, uh, Extracting the results, let me also, uh, because we already talked about uh, the picture and the contours that you can see here. So, for example, we want to extract, we want to extract a picture like this for the uh, for the uh, thesis or for a paper uh, as a scientific, a scientific way. So, you can see a contour of legend here and also the picture of this here. How can we change the uh, bones or the shape of this contour and also even removing these meshes, edges? So by clicking here and choosing uh, feature edges, and remove this edges here. And by Coming, uh, so the, these data here and also this contour and this, uh, all of these things which you can see in this screen here could be removed or add from the viewport and viewport annotation option. So you can see all of this uh, here. So for example, the text, date block, title, we want this legend and applying, you can see these are removed. Also, we can remove these. You can see they also remove, but normally uh, you need this because of the uh, direction. But uh, how can we change the legend? Things coming to legend, you can see the font. or something which is, will they ask you to uh, design your contour like that, so you have to know it's going to be here. And uh, these numbers could be defined as engineering way or scientific, so you can see 
And also uh, the female places, which is here, you can also decrease them to one, maybe it would be good. Because these are all megapascals, as you can see. And also you can move this letter along this side and also this side by this. You can see X and Y. So if I choose for five, for example, and then apply it, it's already gone to here. Again. So this is that something that you can, I just wanted to show how it is work, so you can adjust it by yourself. So and also some other uh, options that you can use and move it. So this is something functional or completely based on the things they want. So clicking OK. So, and also, <laughs> we all did this thing to extract the picture. So, how can we extract the picture after adjusting all of these settings? So, <laughs> come into the file, and uh, you can see print so by clicking here. And all viewport means all things here. And color, or black and white. And... Uh, As a, as a file, you know, I was looking for this, not printer. We want to save it in a file. So you have to give an you know, address here. For example, directly to drive D. And so I just need to uh, there should be a file name, exactly, but maybe I can it already exists okay. even better. So I choose this. Oh, I have to give a name. Sorry. So uh, into this file and then give a name like the uh, S line my S. So and uh, here is the format. Normally, PNG is the is always uh, choose. We want to reduce to this much color because it's also reduce the quality of your picture. Here, you can also increase the uh, manually adjust the width and height of your thing. It's maximum maximum width that you can see or maximum quality is four thousand. You can give this much and then later reduce the size or quality of your picture manually in other software, so always choose this one, it would be better. And then if you just click apply, you can see it got saved, and you can go here, and then see, oh, picture, but I don't know why it is back. Uh, maybe it's, it's, it's a, a current viewport, not the old viewport. So, that's also different thing. Maybe it's it's really related to the uh, this uh, graphical option that I already. So I see. Oh, print without viewport background also. So <laughs> this should be marked. Yeah, I think now I got it. So, uh, yes, finally we could see. <laughs> anyway, so this is the way of uh, saving a picture. Uh, so uh, let's go to the real results which are the data. And, uh, having the data from the uh, other source part, so let's go back to the pages also. I want to explain something. So, uh, uh, 
every one of these blocks as I'm moving or selecting them by showing them to you. And I will be called element. So this is one element second and third or a lot of elements here. And every uh, cross section or every point that you can apply from here. Then I say element, so you can see this is element. And then if I say, if I call it nodes, so these are nodes. So then you have to know what are nodes, what are elements. Having the data, so uh, we can extract the express a string or any result we want or any uh, element or even through a line or a path we can uh, define. So first, let's go to a path. How can we extract the data for a path? For example, how the S train, the equivalent plastic S train, will change from the surface to the middle of our wire. So this is, you know already, this is the middle of our wire because this is the asymmetric. That's why. So you can see this is path. This option here by creating a path. Based on the nodes that I already told you what is the node. So I also add one to continue and clicking at four. So I would say from this node, this coming here, here, then continuing this line here. And then done, and then clicking OK. So you can see a path. This is a path we designed. So now we want to express the equivalent plastic string along this path by creating the XY data using a path, as you can see here. So we already defined just one path, which is path one. And then here we have build output. So we say and then okay. So the data for the page for equivalent plastic string for these for this line and here you can see them as a And okay. And then you can see this is here. Or we can plot it even here. And here. But uh, normally people like to use Excel for uh, working with this data. So this data is always you can click, right click on it and edit. And you can see the data are here. But you have to be careful that. Uh, the x, which is this one, is the true distance along the path, and the y is a string, as you can see. So that means if you go back here, and I click here, so you can see, uh, so you can see this x is the distance for every one of these nodes here. And then the y is the difference of the string. So you can have this data, then copy it, file. Uh, and then while Excel is opening, I can also extract the same using the same path, extract the data for the stress, and uh, here, I just need to change the 
this one for is minus, as you can see, and then OK, and then saving it as a as minus. Okay, and then then you can see peak and H minus is saved here. So closing this one, everything. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's open. So, this was for the peak. We know already y is the peak, so we don't need the distances. And uh, let's do it same for the uh, as always. And here, and having this data here, now we can easily plot this. Uh, oh no, uh, I should change the, uh, this one to here, and then say common again. Oh yeah, so this is the strain and this is the uh, uh, minus for that line. So, but this is just the uh, stress. This strain for a hat. This is not representing the uh, the uh, um, property uh, element, single element, and it's not comparable directly with the property in, in initial property that we define. So let's. Uh, uh, we can also. Uh, same thing using the other tool, so let's do this one for you. Uh, to this one using the other tool. For the, this time, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna extract the data just for a single uh, element. Then we can see. Oh, let me see this. And this time, by creating the data using the ODB. Is output is new. So here we can see we, we, we want to extract the peak or equivalent plastic strain for just the element in the second section, edit section. So we take this and done. So one element is selected. And then I can close this one directly. Computer requires a lot of common. <laughs> I'm working with another computer which is faster than this one, that's why. <laughs> While I'm uh, presenting this one, I should put my uh, laptop in case so I leave the laptop in the laptop. <laughs> So, uh, oh yeah, uh, so you can see the this train best time is process. and uh, but here in the which I said after only this drawing. So let me bring back the. The already removed. So you can see the time step is it's not it's just seven seconds, seven point six, and the increment is seven hundred 
Uh, here we have to, uh, you can see here it's already selected the whole timing. But we just want seven items, not the whole. And we use this one. Uh, sorry, we uh, go up. This is beginning. We and then we say oh, we have to, or we can uh, we can choose the first one and then come down to the seven point six on the number. And you can see it goes here, and then holding shift. That's okay. Now plot again. You can see only at that time. Nothing more. If you want to extract data in a process for a specific, uh, I mean, the specific finding. So this is the uh, peak based on the time, so we're going to save this one as a peak. As you can see, it automatically will be saved by the peak. And then we're going to save the same for the sizes. So, now, uh, I think already, it doesn't matter. Um, now we can edit this one, and then you can see also the first one is the time, the second one is the peak. So we're going to copy this by holding this, and then bring it to the, so I'm going to delete it all. So, I don't need this line, but don't leave these zeros because the number of uh, the number of data should be the same. You see this first, which we're going to bring it here. And then copy. And then bring it there here, so we only need and I believe it should be here. So let's plot this one. Um, now you can see it's like a blue book. Means something you already know this. We can also, I'm not going to go through the Excel and say <laughs> how you can change this. Uh, uh, so, this is something that you should already know about it. Uh, and also, if you, if you divide this into the uh, into uh, one E6, it would be mega plus you what you're going to do. However, we can also do the same, all of these things with other tools. This is something, now we're going to talk about it, how we can do this thing with other tools as a professional one. So we don't use the Excel. I mean, Excel is better because you have more options to work with this. This is an option in plotting. But here, other tools, uh, if you want to just have a quick or something, I mean, similar with the Excel, you can do it with other tools. How we can do it? Uh, first, I'm going to delete this one with the Excel and the other thing is, I'm going to mark both of them and then right click. Uh, 
Oh, coming here to the uh, yeah, to the options, explore options, and uh, and sorry, creating creating and uh, operate on each board. Let me show it again. Right clicking here, creating. Operate on each slide data. Continue. So you can see both of these data are here. And now we want to combine this. There are a lot of options that you can do and work with these data, like making the absolute of any data on and whole data or uh, like any. Uh, formula you want to write, like in the Excel, you know, but it's already here. Anyway, anyway, if you even write combine, and so you know the first one it would be X, like this, the second one, which is Y, like this direction. So the first one always, which is X, we use okay? and comma, and the second one is and then closing the process, and we can save it as a yes, yes, yes. Or this is, by the way, this is. Uh, oh, let me plot this one first. Multiply one in nine. But we can make this real Pascal. How by front and divide it by one and choosing this front yes. And then choosing it again. I'm going to plot this. You can see it's already in the So, uh, oh, we have something quite interesting for you. This is the, the year this year, 200, around between 200 and 225, something like this. And if we go to the property and then open this, and the property that we gave, this. 210. So this is something comparable. which I already uh, asked you to use the property that I shared with you. That is the property many times we can talk about and discuss and compare because that is the actual property from the uh, experiment. And we're going to later do it for a sensor test. And then we will see the result of the sensor test with the experiment to see them. Then you have a correct relation. But here, I mean, generally, uh, like the aim or the goal of the simulation for having the result, the correct result, that we don't do the experiment again. again but why we want to investigate on a promise, like a conversion, for example. I think. Plotting the results. Uh, this is the general uh, general uh, talking about the results. So I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and for the uh, for the uh, 
other is the way we're gonna uh, talk about the different processes, but this is 